By 2024, there will be more than 130 electric vehicle models sold in the U.S. Kilos is on a mission to accelerate EV adoption by building an ultra-fast EV charging network. And with me is the CEO, John Striesauer. Um, it's great to have you here. Um, so clearly, EV sales are, glow, are, going, are growing. I mean, it's just a real hot area right now. But the charging infrastructure does seem to be behind that. And that is what you're trying, that's your solution, right? What the company is trying to do? Exactly. Explain what, what exactly. the company is all about. Well, so um, EV adoption is part of it, but satisfaction of mainstream EV users is really what we're looking at because okay. that's what's going to help to really um, move everything forward fast. And EV buyers are really interested. I mean, you can see all the sales numbers are, are going through the roof. People really want them. There's more demand for EVs than EVs are available. But at the same time, we're also seeing that there's reluctance from some EV buyers because they're afraid of being able to go any real distance. And so we are solving the high-speed charging along the interstate system that the federal government is actually trying to solve with $7.5 billion. That's, that's right. So that was part of the infrastructure plan, right? right. So you're right. trying to tap into that. And, and not only are you helping to build these charging stations, but also making it faster, because I understand it's like, what, 30 minutes or something to charge a vehicle? Right. Okay. So there's two parts to that. Uh, the EV itself has to be able to accept charge faster. Okay. And so when you look at EVs, EVs are growing in range. So now you can get 300, 400 mile range. Lucid has a 520 mile range. We're seeing the range coming up. Eventually we're gonna to get to five or 600 miles of range that's economically feasible. And at that point, everything is gonna be about how do you charge them fast? And when you look at the infrastructure that exists today, especially for non-Tesla vehicles, it's, it's way too uh, sparse. There's not enough of them and they're certainly not fast enough. Now, does it have to be for a certain vehicle? Like if I have a Rivian, for example, can I charge it at a Tesla charging station or how does all of that work? Uh, so Tesla is proprietary. Okay. So the Tesla charging, supercharging network mm -hmm. is, is excellent. It works great. It's a, it's a um, vertically integrated system, much like Apple's environment is. Everything's vertically integrated. So that experience is really good and it works well. Um, Tesla around the world has already started using standards that work with other EV makers around the world. So in Europe, they're using CCS2, and in, in uh, Asia, they're using another standard. In the US, Tesla is just now starting to add CCS1, which is the North American DC fast charging standard that EVs will use for long distance. But today, there's two different kinds of plugs okay. that work, mm. and CCS1 is the one that eventually will dominate. So that will be the one that will be kind of universal, so to speak? It will be universal okay. until it's replaced with a higher speed charging standard okay. and eventually wireless. Okay. So that's where this is going to go. <laughs> and is that what you're looking at doing? Absolutely. Wireless and all that? Yeah. Okay. So we are, we are really pushing the boundary on uh, charging speed on CCS1 today okay. with a plan to get to megawatt, megawatt and a half or beyond charging, mm -hmm. which is substantially beyond anything that exists today. Um, and then eventually taking that to wireless as well. How long would it take then, do you foresee, charging a vehicle wirelessly? Well, uh, I think that we'll get to a point where fully charging an EV with five or 600 miles of range will happen in five to 10 minutes. Okay, and, so comparable, you know, comparable to gas. It's comparable to mm -hmm. gas, except the cool thing is that when you have an EV and you're fortunate enough to park it somewhere that has charging, like your own garage if you happen to have that, okay you really don't ever go to a gas station. Mm -hmm. So when you become an EV owner, one of the things you find out is, this is really cool, I never go to the gas station, so I never spend any time doing that. Okay. It's only when you're on a road trip somewhere where you're gonna need fast charging. Mm -hmm. And so that's the problem we're solving. Now, would, do you foresee these charging stations going where gas stations are located, or what would be the best location for that? So there are about 115,000 gas stations across the US today. It's taken us 100 years or so to get there. And most of those are not necessary anymore, or they won't be with EVs, because EVs charge, and so any local driving you need to do, mm -hmm. uh, you, don't need to, you don't need to stop at a gas station. So we foresee that most of the infrastructure will need to be along the interstates and at popular destinations. So if you think about it, you drive two hours, drop somebody off at the airport, um, you're gonna turn around and go home, you need to charge and get home. Interesting. So fast charge is what you want. Yeah. So we really see that it's, it's, it's all about fast charging. Yeah, and it's, it sounds like the logistics of it all is going to change a little bit because our habits will change Absolutely. as we adapt more. 
Um, now, there's also an issue with reserving time, right? If you do, you have to reserve time at a charging station, or can you always find a spot? Um, well, that's a great question. <laughs> so I've been driving Teslas for 10 years, uh -huh. and when I first started, everyone would come up and say, "What is that?" And now it's gotten to the point where if you go to a Tesla supercharger station, there's lots of Teslas there. Yeah. So the charging times have gotten longer, and the availability of a plug has gotten to be less um, deterministic. Okay. And certainly for non-Tesla vehicles that are entering the market, there's not much infrastructure out there yet. Mm -hmm. They are. I mean, all of the new electric cars are just really stunning. So thank you so much, John, for coming in. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it.